What up, YouTube? It's Robert Marshall coming back at you again from New Concord, Ohio. What's up, Vape family? It's Ohio Rambling Vapor 740. What's up, guys? Um, it's been a minute. Um, I've been kind of off base. Uh, things have been kind of crazy with me, uh, but thanks for sticking with me and, and being here again. So uh, tonight's review is going to be a little messy, so I'm just going to warn you ahead of time. I'm rambly. <clears throat> it's late here in Ohio. It's, uh, it's around the midnight area. Um, I'm a little wired up. I had a little monster. You know what I mean? So, uh, <clears throat> I've been kind of sick lately. Um, I don't know whether I have gallbladder problems or I just had a thing, but I was sick for about a week and a half. So I apologize for the lack of videos and lack of content. So my apologies. So, uh, let's have a chuff, get back to it. Right. So just as so you know, I'm a little late to this party. I got the cloud. I got clouds. Let's do it again. Man, so anyway, I'm a little late to this party. <coughs> Excuse my coffin. I'm a little late to this party, and uh, I got to tell you, I made a mistake by being late to this party, okay? I don't usually say that, but this time, I know I've made a mistake because I was late to this party. So what I want to go over today, as soon as I get some more juice in here before I get a dry hit and kill myself, is this tank that I'm playing with currently. And as soon as I get it filled, I will tilt it your way. So you can see this beautiful piece of equipment. Now, like I said, I'm extremely late to this little party here. Because I've been hearing about this tank for a long time. And I just never thought it was going to be my thing. You know, I'm not a sub-tank guy. Everybody knows a high Ramley Vapor's a dripper. He's a mech mod guy. He's a big cloud guy. He likes his flavor. He likes his squonkers. You know what I mean? Uh, so, note this day. A high Rambling Vapor owns a sub-tank that he likes. Okay, um, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping to get one of the Fire Luke mesh tanks. Um, like I said, I don't like sub tanks, but kind of on this thing right now, we're like, they're convenient, and they're awesome, and if they blow good clouds, man, it's kind of cool. You know, they chew up juice and batteries, but I got plenty of batteries, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get into it. This is what I'm talking about. Like I said, I'm late to the party. This is the UL Valerian tank. Yes, it is. I have the stainless steel version, and I had another buddy that has a Valerian tank that gave me the orange that matches the orange. Um, you know what I'm saying? I have a gold, uh, golden black drip tip, I think, that came with it. I'm not super sure about the whole packaging thing because I got the tank from a friend, so I apologize that I don't have the factory packaging and know what all comes with it. I know it comes with a drip tip and spare glass. Um, I think it's supposed to, you have to buy the bubble glass. Um, it's probably a purchase I'm going to make. Of course, I have a vape band on there. Um, I'm not super sure what company this is, but I got it at the expo. And it's sitting atop the uh, Smoant Cylon, um, which um, not only are we going to go over this flaring tank, we're going to go over this Smoant Cylon. And I'm going to give you my shots on it. Um, I had it in a video about a month ago. I was like, I'll check it out later and kind of left you in suspense on the edge of your seat. So let's have a cloud. Okay, so I'm not a sub-tank guy, all right? And there's reasons why I don't like sub-tanks. They're convenient, they're awesome, but I don't like them. And that's why, so the, my, my hatred for sub-tanks is the reason why I have so many squonkers. Um, the dripping thing gets old sometimes, and it's messy, and it's hard in the car when it's dark. Things like that if I'm riding. Um, but uh, anyway, I don't like sub-tanks because, you know, I got to buy the coils, and, I, and I'm a coil builder. Um, I own my own coil building company, um, and so... Uh, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to promote my own company. Uh, my company's name is Cloud Around Vapors. I have a Facebook page. Uh, it's Cloud Around Vapors. Um, I do custom coil building. So there's my advertisement. Thank you. Please buy coals for me. Um, anyway, um, I'm an up-and-coming short company. Uh, I haven't been able to get a business loan yet, so I'm, I'm an at-home small business. So if you do order from me and there's a satisfactory issue, for God's sake, just send me a message and let me know. I'm, I'm willing to, to fix the problem. So anyway... Uh, Here's how we go. It's Valerian tank. I don't like sub tanks for that exact reason. I told you I'm rambly. Um, I don't like sub tanks for the reasons that I have to buy the coils because I'm a coil builder and they always suck at flavor and they chew up batteries. And this one's different in one of those aspects per se. Um, it does chew up batteries and it does chew through, I mean, chews through juice. Okay, but this thing throws clouds. They only make one coil for this, which is a 0.15 ohm coil. And it runs the best around 110 watts, which is battery chewy, especially on like a dual 18650. And uh, I messed with it for a couple days or for a day or so on my Captain. Um, 
And uh, so, so hopefully the next video I put up is going to be about this Bonza RDA. Again, late to the party. This is definitely not the drip tip that came out. This is one of my Goldie drip tips I bought from Fast Tech. Um, not that they're sponsors of mine or anything, but Fast Tech's freaking awesome. And they take forever uh, to ship stuff, to be honest. But their products are good and they're cheap as shit. So uh, Fast Tech's good. It might be slow tech. Their shipping time sucks sometimes, um, six weeks at a time sometimes, but uh, I'll tell you what, man, uh, they sell good products, and uh, you know these Goldie Tips were relatively cheap, and I bought a set of two of them, and they were only like $6, and they're absolutely beautiful. See, I'm rambling. Let me get my hand in there, just because we're talking about Look at that. Look. Crap. Focus. Look, look at this. A absolutely gorgeous on that black and gold Bonza. You should be proud of me, Vaping Bogan. So anyway, this Valerian tank does chew up batteries. It does run at high wattage. But the clouds, bro, clouds like... A sub tank, guys. And this is the thing about this Valerian. I'm gonna... Oh, I bumped the desk. I'm sorry, guys. This is the thing about this Valerian. I'm gonna try to show you this. See down this bore? Do you see that juice that's sitting in that mouthpiece? I've never had a sub tank that has juice sitting in the mouthpiece on a regular. It doesn't spit back. There's that much vapor and that much flavor that you can like feel a, a moisture. It's warm. Uh, I don't like sub tanks because they have cold vapor. I'm so used to dripping and squonking that I'm not used to cold vapor. And, you know, I like clouds, but I like warm, dense, flavorful clouds. I'm like, I've never had a sub tank that I've tried in my whole life that that gives flavor and density like this valerian and i know i'm late to this party but okay it i have it has like a five or six mil juice capacity which you have to carry a bottle around with you to fill this up because it just chews juice it runs around uh, the coils recommended best from 95 to 120 watts i run it right in the middle which is 110 and it just chucks the flavor is phenomenal um so i mean there may be better sub tanks on the market but i've picked this one up and i'm not a sub tank guy and I had a buddy trade it to me for a Peerless RDA that I had sitting around that I had made custom panels for a, uh, you know what I mean? His name is uh, uh, Jester, um, very good friend of mine. Love you, brother. Shout out. And uh, and so he, he hooked me up with this Valerian tank. This is one of the, like the five Valerians that he owns, and it happened to be the stainless steel one. I wish they made a gunmetal one. Valerian, if you see this video, make a gunmetal, or you will, make a gunmetal Valerian. I need it for the snow ant. Okay? Anyways, so... Uh, that's pretty much it, man. It's got great flavor. The clouds are really dense and flavorful. Yes, it's going to chew up batteries. And yes, it's going to chew through juice. But if you're in the market for a big cloud chasing uh, sub ohm tank that has decent flavor and it's not cold, this Valerian is on point. Okay. Um, it's the best flavor I've ever had um, out of a sub tank, except for, uh, I'll go back to this. Um, I have one of the Freemax uh, Star Pures that has the ceramic and, and Cantonal coils in it. And that's the best flavor I've ever gotten in a sub tank, but it's a 40 watt sub tank. You understand what I'm saying? I run it about 35 and a half watts, but the flavor is phenomenal. I put my really high end, really good flavor juices in that sometimes just to have them at the desk. So I don't have to drip or squonk while I'm trying to build. I know I'm rambling. It's eight minutes in. So the next thing we're going to go over is the Smoant. If you guys haven't seen this, this, I hope I'm pronouncing Smoant right. This is the Smoant Cylon. And I've seen other reviews for this. And again, I'm late to this party. This display screen is gorgeous. It has several settings. You can have one one of them that looks like a uh, it looks like a, a a car RPM meter. It's very cool, but it doesn't show your battery life. It's got a screensaver. You have to pick the screensaver. There's about twelve or thirteen of them. someday. Hopefully, you'll be able to upgrade. Of course, your um, USB port for charging and upgrading firmware, which I still suggest that you use an external charger. I wouldn't charge it from this. It does get the batteries hot, but hopefully they'll have a firmware upgrade. Maybe they'll run this bad boy up a little bit. I think it's a 230 watt. Hopefully they'll run up 250 or 275 for me, um, which means it'll just chew up batteries more. Um, the one that I have actually isn't the black one. This is the what they call the Tarnish, and I got this from Fast Tech also. Um, they had a pre-order going on it, and I waited for a while for it, but I'm pretty amped. Uh, Joseph Wolf actually is the one who got this for me, um, and uh, so thank you, brother. And uh, so it's a Do 18650. Um, I think it's a 230 watt, but don't quote me on that. It's a 200 to 230. I think it's a 230 watt. Um, 230, 220. It's an over 200 watt mod. I don't know exactly. Um, and uh, So I'm going to take this tank off. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted this mod. It has temp control. It has all the gigs and bite, you know, all the bells and whistles. I'm not going to get into all the crap. The menu system is easy to navigate. It's a three-click system. 
you know, it says check atomizer, but it's a three click system to get into the menu. Okay, click it three times, you know what I mean? Um, and it'll, uh, see, cause I clicked it five times cause I suck. Um, okay, it'll go into this and then you can adjust all your stuff from there. You know, your settings and your wallpaper. Uh, it's got temperature control mode, variable wattage mode. Okay, um, there's tons of stuff. Um, it's a very, very, very cool, very, very, very cool uh, mod. Um, and then you long hold it to get out of it, which is really cool. It's backwards from other stuff. So it's some people have navigation issues with it. But here's the thing. Look at this. See that? That is a centered 510. And everyone's like, oh, oh, centered 510. This centered 510, if you look at this, is built to last. Look at this. Okay, it's Allen keyed in, not screws. And the, these are for the top plates. But that thing is nailed down in there. And I have never had anything wiggle. It's got a spring-loaded 510. Um, you know, of course, all the protections, all the shenanigans, regulated device. Why do I? I don't need to get in this with anybody who should be watching my videos. It's a regulated device. It has all the bells and whistles and switches and temp control. And it's what you need. And it's over 200 watts. It's a suggested mod. They're not exactly cheap. But Fast Tech has a reasonable. I don't know if you can still get a hold of this one. I've seen a lot of the black ones. And I thought they, I just don't like all black mods. You notice how many all black mods I own. I mean, I have a Spectrum, I have a Vupu, it's black, you know what I mean? Um, and then, you know, my Pulse boxes, all, um, you know, they're black-based, and then, you know, you get your color and your panels. So, I mean, you know, I'm used to black. You know, same reason why I bought this black Bonds. I could have bought whatever color, but I wanted black so I could make black and gold on this iJoy because I'm a matchy-matchy kind of guy. So, I don't dislike the matchy-match here. The other cool thing about this Flarian tank, guys, is, boom, this fill system's epic. Look at these fill holes. They're they're pretty good size and they fill up pretty decent. It's got this little lock switch. It's like a little bam. Oh yeah, right into the fill. Um, the drip tip's a little odd, but it will accept a regular 510, 510 drip tip. This one's fitted, but I have tried it. It will fit a regular 510. It looks funny. If you have a shorty 510, you might be good to go. But this bore on this is pretty wide. You know, it's pretty decent. It is it is a proprietary drip tip, um, and I don't know if it comes with any kind of 810 drip tip adapter i'm not sure about it i need a chuff three big old cyclops air holes you know whatever you adjust on the sides the same way all across the board as the steel from uh from rip um and uh so yeah this is a really good mod dual 18650 uh it seems to have good battery life and you know 110 watts feels like 110 watts 70 watts feels like 70 watts i don't know about the chip that's in this but i know it's smoant so um you know, I never got one of the other uh, big small ant mods that sold a whole bunch, and I really got on this. And I actually picked this over, I picked this mod over the Sinuous FJ200, which I still want, but I did pick this over the Sinuous FJ200. Um, so it's a really good mod. It's got this, like, fake textury stuff. It's more like, this one's more like Dragon Scale. The other one's more of a leathery, pleathery pattern. Um, I don't know if these are real leather. I don't know if they're pleather. They don't feel real leather, but they could be coated. Um, but they look like Dragon Scale. Um, it's quite gorgeous. Um, and it's quite nice. And then, of course, this is like a gunmetal tarnish. You know, it's a it's a it's a pretty looking mod. Um, it's different. You know, it's that basic big. It's it's kind of bulky, um, but it's it fits in the hand really well. And the centered five ten really helps that that hand thing. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm reviewing. That's what we're having. So I'm gonna go back to this because I'm stressy a little bit. So I'm gonna go to this. This is my pulse. I need to chuff on this. I needs my salt nick. For anybody who's watching my channel that doesn't know, I quit smoking last year over the summer and then my life got too real and I smoked from, I quit in the early part of June and I quit clear up until the latter part of August. Um, so June, July, August, three and a half months, I completely gave up my cigarettes. Um, I was reduced down from three pack a day smoker to a one pack a day smoker. And then I slowly was decreasing to almost a half of a day pack a day smoker. And then I gave it up and, uh, and then crap got real in August and I smoked from August until, uh, about a month ago. And I finally completely gave up cigarettes again. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, as a reviewer that I haven't smoked in between and I'm, 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 I'm reiterating myself. I feel way better. I'm moving better. So, uh, you know, if you're watching this video and you're still a smoker, get an AIO kit, something with high nick or something. Get used to it. Get off the stinkies anyway. So let's have a chuff, and then I'm going to give you the peace out, YouTube. Peace out. Catch on the flip side.